Good morning and welcome to our vlog from Flamingo Land. It's our first visit to the park of 2018. I mean, Charlotte here, just us today. And uh, yeah, it's weird to actually be here when it's so quiet and the sun's not shining. Normally we do this later in the year, uh, but we thought this time around, let's come a little bit earlier. I'll probably come later in the year as well, to be honest, because I do find it more of a summer park. Um, but yeah, we just arrived. There's about 20 minutes until the rides open. And it's empty, isn't it? No, it's really quiet. Yeah, I mean, it's the end of the Easter holidays, really, this weekend. So we might be quite lucky. We're going to Lightwater Valley tomorrow as well. So make sure you check out the vlog from there. But yeah, where is everyone? It's deserted. Uh, Park zone until five o'clock today. We think there's a couple of closures today. We know that Cliffhanger's closed, yeah. which is the uh, the S and S shot and drop tower just over there. It's one of the best ones actually. It's a shame that's closed. And we thought that Kamali was going to be closed as well, which is the Vacoma SLC. It's actually quite a good one this as well, better than Infusion. Um, but we're not too sure. It's not on the ride closure board this morning. Um, so yeah, it might be open. We thought it, they were waiting on a part still because uh, it's been shut for a couple of weeks. But who knows, we might get on it, we might not. Uh, if not, we'll get on all the other rides, such as my favorite here, Velocity. Uh, get on there, there's some really good flat rides here. We'll have a walk around the zoo, go and see all of that, do the train the cable car and uh, yeah it should be a really nice day looking forward to it plenty of on-ride footage from today as well here at flamingo land but uh, yeah it should be good shouldn't it it should be a yeah. nice day we'll start off with the ride on velocity and i must say the uh, motor gets noisier every year it's just down the bottom just over there next to the path and uh, yeah listen to that noise gets noisier each year right we'll start off on velocity and uh, yeah it should be a good day it's a little bit colder than i was expecting today isn't it Very cold. yeah a bit chilly this morning i thought it was just going to be a hoodie day today i've got my pleasure beach hoodie on uh, but yeah, it is a bit colder um so yeah for now we'll uh, keep my coat on you never know i might take it off later that's the beauty of this park uh, there's no monorails or long walks to the park entrance from the car park you literally park right next door to the entrance I meaning if you want to nip out during the day uh, you can do right let's get on board velocity and we'll See you on the ride. Hold on tight. Here we go on velocity. The Vacoma booster bike coaster. We're on the second row. There's Charlotte. Are you ready to launch? Yeah. I do like the announcement. Hold on tight. And a very enthusiastic voice. Quite a powerful launch, this one. About 50 mile an hour. Get them revs on. Here we go. Woo! to that do really enjoy it quite smooth towards the front as well it gets a bit rougher when you go further back there you go there we go so we just come off the second row of velocity and that was really enjoyable like i said just on the brake run quite a smooth ride that for a vacoma it runs really well it's a good coaster i do enjoy it opened in 2005 that one here at flamingo land anyway i think we're going to go on uh, on Hero next, favorite. my favourite, the Zampirl of Volaire. Now, a few years ago when we came with Caitlin, Caitlin and Charlotte were trolling me saying that they really liked it. No, we did, and then we went on the outside and we didn't like it. Oh, there we go, but we'll go on it. I just said this to Charlotte off camera, but I'd rather go on it now when there's no queue and we can walk on it than go on later on. Oh, oh, cliffhanger's on, oh, there we go. Good. I'd rather go on it now when there's no queue yeah. uh, than queue up for the pain later on. So this is Zampirla. Volair flying coaster and these are awful what is it with me and flying coasters I don't really like being and flying coasters to be honest uh, but this one isn't because of the restraint system well it's everything but it's more because of the design of it I mean you're in this little cage what you're trapped in then you got this spiral lift hill which to be honest that's not too bad I don't mind that the way it works is quite interesting as well I mean the ride vehicle comes forward and it like gets pushed up uh, around the track you're okay because it's warm oh, that's all that's all I want that's what I mean I'd rather do it now than, uh, than do it and queue up for the pleasure. I mean, I think last time we were here, we waited, what, about 15, 20 minutes maybe? Yeah. We were just down the ramp just here. So yeah, hopefully uh, 
Yeah, we'll get on it now without any issues. It's prone to breaking down a little bit, this one. So hopefully we'll get on it. Looks like we will right near the front. Let's go. Oh, is it already gone? Are you joking? Just someone saying it has issues. Yeah, the stuff. Oh, there we go. So we're not riding Hero for now. <laughs> Just as I was saying that it breaks down. There we go. We'll come back later. But we like to see a really quiet start this morning here at Flamingo Land. Mumbo Jumbo. That looks really quiet on that side. Hold anybody in the queue. to this, manufactured by s and s it's an El Loco model. <laughs> Enjoy this coaster, I like the weird elements, especially this one here where it bends round on the sides. It's like that feeling of being like on the edge of a cliff. So there we go. Certificate, the steepest roller coaster in the world. There we are, it was at its time anyway, 2009. I actually took the record from Saw the Ride at Thorpe Park. I've noticed they've put a few new uh, chain link fences in around some of the rides this year. Just noticed it over on Hero. I'm sure we'll get on it later on. I won't say hopefully we'll get on it later on. Hopefully it'll be broke all day, but you know. Um, yeah, there's a few new chain link fences. There's one here as well. I assume that's all for ongoing safety. Obviously safety is always the priority at these theme parks. But uh, yeah, I've waited 90 minutes for this before in the summer. Good to see Cliffhanger is open. Doesn't look like Kamal is open yet. There's some staff waiting out the front. Uh, but again, hopefully that'll open later on. So yeah, let's make the most of this while it's quiet and do a, a walk on Mumbo Jumbo. Yeah, she must be a fan, that operator up there. She gave us a cheeky wave. Safety, please remain seated and keep your arms and legs inside the carriage. Off we go then. For your safety, I'm Mumbo please Jumbo. remain seated and keep your arms and legs inside the carriage. There we go. I'm just hearing from the operator that apparently they've fixed the hashtag rot work on Kamali's entrance. So we'll have a look at that after and uh, see if I can confirm that. Up we go. Nice fast lift, LDs. Are you ready, Charlotte? <laughs> Here we go, beyond vertical. Look at all the caravans. Caravan watch. Whee! Woo! Oh, it does have some forces on the corners, this ride, I tell you. Bit of air time there in the mid course. Woo! Ah, oh, it's a good inversion that. Ow! Oh, that overbank was a bit jolty there at the end. <laughs> Quite a smooth ride other than that overbank. Oh, it's got a bit of a queue now as well. There you go. There we go, that's it, Mumbo Jumbo. I enjoyed that. Yeah, it was a bit rough at the end there, but still a smooth coaster like compared to some of the others out there. There you go. So we've just come off Mumbo Jumbo. Normally quite a smooth ride, that one, but that overbank, oh, oh my God, at the I end. Found my neck crack. To be honest, it felt like it was running faster than normal there. It was really going around the track at quite some speed. And some of them corners where you banked it on the side, uh, we were proper going around really fast there. It's a good coaster there, I really enjoy it. Like I say, it opened in 2009. I remember coming opening year for Mumbo Jumbo. And uh, yeah, it's a good coaster. I was just saying to Charlotte, actually, I mean, Drayton Manor really needs uh, a new coaster. And I just think that something like that, an SNS Al Loco might be the way for them to go. I mean, they're quite compact, uh, not too expensive to build either. Maybe something along those lines would be a good addition to Drayton Manor. Uh, so comment below if you'd like to see something like that uh, somewhere else here in the UK. So yes, the operator on there. Lots of fans of Theme Park Worldwide that work here. So hi out there to all of you. He's got his thumbs up through the trees as well. There we are. So yes, the rock work has been fixed around here. You can see they've redone the top there as well. And uh, yeah, it was all around the side here where it was all broke before, so that's been fixed, which is good to see. Shame we've still got no fire on the sides here, though. It'd be nice if there was uh, fire torches. But uh, yeah, there you go, Kamali, that's the SLC. Uh, it's closed at the moment. You never know, we might get it later on. But we did come today expecting that to be closed, because um, it, it was shut at the start of the season, wasn't it, that one? 
But uh, yeah, we're going to go and check out the uh, new ride now, or well, still the newest ride here. Whereas last year they opened this go well go kart slash Utopia style yeah, ride. There it, is. there it is. I mean, we thought that this was actually going to be a, a go kart track originally, because when we came last year, it was just the tarmac, wasn't it, which they yeah, laid out. It didn't have the, uh, the actual track on there. So there we go, there's a little look at it. And I think can you control the speed and stop and start and things? I'm not too sure. Or if it just goes at the same speed all the way around, a bit like the one in Ferrari Land at Port Ventura. I'm not too sure, but it uh, looks like it's uh, about to open anyway. That's a staff ride going on there. Imagine testing that on a morning. Just, yeah, just casually go around. It looks quite nice though. It's a massive fence around the side though. Look at that. My God, didn't want anybody getting in that ride area. But uh, as you can see from the board over there, 1022, done a couple of coasters already. And uh, yeah, it looks like Heroes just reopened. So we will do that at some point soon, just to avoid uh, getting a queue. Is this where we go in, is it? Flamingo Land F1 entrance, there we go. Is it down this ramp or, oh, oh, we can go up this way. That's just a wheelchair ramp there, is it, I think? Yeah, it's the accessible way. How strange that you having to come upstairs to get on. Oh, you must go down some steps at that side. Let's have a look. It's a massive area though. This used to be occupied by an old fish and chip shop uh, and there used to be a couple of other flat rides here as well for the kids uh, and then there was another cars ride so it looks definitely better than that cars ride that was here before. So uh, let's get on board Flamingo Land F1 located in the hub as it's now called. So just to confirm, this is where you get in. You have to come back downstairs on this side. So them steps were just to take you over. And then uh, you go through these doors just here. You've got some little traffic lights up there as well. Yeah. Doesn't feel like a ride entrance, does it? And then you find yourself back outside. So we came up them steps to come across. Let's come back down inside with this one. Oh, it's closed. It's what? It's closed. Oh, is it closed? Oh, I've had us come into a closed ride. Oh, sorry about that. There we go. <laughs> Maybe you're, uh, you're not supposed to open the door yourself then. There you go, we'll come back later. Off we go then, on the hero, and are you ready for the pain? I can't move the camera at all because my hands are all the way strapped down here, in fact I don't think you can even see them on the camera. You're so restricted on this one. It's just not enjoyable is it? So we're just waiting to be pushed up the lift hill, oh my god that didn't sound good. Waiting to be pushed up the lift hill, that queue's got a bit bigger now as well than it was just. There we go. This is officially my second worst coaster I've ever done. My worst coaster is still Condor at Wallaby Holland. And Charlotte's going to get to endure oh that God. later in the year. That's an SLC, standard layout. You have some good views from on this. That's the only bonus. Oh, God, here we go. I'm holding on tight. Caravan watch, let's go. I do apologise. It might be a bit jolty, this footage. Very jolty. Oh my god. Ah, here we go. Oh god. Ah, oh my god. It's definitely worse on these end seats as well. Oh. Oh. Ah, my shoulders. Ah, get me off. Please get me off. Ah. Enjoy this bad corner now. Here we go. Oh, on the shoulders. Ah. And there we go. That's zero. My shoulders are killing. How was it? Awful. I'm not sure how the footage came out there. Like I say, I can't uh, can't touch the camera at all with where my hands are. 
And there we go, into this quality mechanism to lower it back down. Quality. I mean, who designed a ride like where it moves still? Where's the bag? I mean, look at this, it's dangerous. You get hit by the ride, there we go. <laughs> Charlotte? Yeah? I need a doctor. Do you want me to oh, your oh, 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 no, I thought I was good. getting a massage then. Oh, oh I'll no. tell you what, God, my shoulders. I mean, it's not the worst ride I've ever had on it, that. I have had more painful. I think later on in the day, and also on a hotter day when the track's really warm, it rides even worse. It's not the worst ride I've had on it, that but certainly didn't enjoy it at all. The profiling of it, but it's more the, the design of it. The fact that technically you're not even fastened in because as you saw from that footage just at the end on the GoPro, you walk up like some steps to get onto it. And then if you're on a bit of an awkward height, sometimes you're either a bit too tall for, for the one that you're standing on and you have to go down for the next one. And then other times you're too short for it. So you're never just comfortable on it. Yeah, because I'm quite short. I just go, woo! Yeah, like, are you actually in a proper space? Like, no, you're not, no, are you? I and because go. the actual shoulder harnesses stay in the same place, you've kind of just got to stand on one of them grills uh, at the bottom. I don't enjoy it at There's all. There's never one that's actually suitable for your height. You're either too tall or you're too short. Too short for it. It's one of those. It's not enjoyable at all. But we only waited about 10 minutes for it. We got on. It's time for round two now. If the door is closed, I'm going to wait and I'm not going to go through it. <laughs> It's always the, the natural things what happen that are the funniest, isn't it? So here we go. Okay. Take number two now. We'll forget that clip earlier on. Didn't exist. We're going on the F1 cars. The doors are open now, you see. There you go. There you go. You can That's it. Can I walk through now? Let's see how big the queue is for this. It's getting a little bit busier today, but it's still not too bad. We've been in the park about 45 minutes, and we've done three of the main coasters. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I'll just go through this door here and uh, straight on, I think. All right, short queue, maybe. Ten minutes. Let's go and have a look inside. Oh, watch out, there's a little bit of glass there. <laughs> Ooh, here we go, it's quite well themed in it, actually. It's quite nice. Oh, I like that car suspended over there from the ceiling. A little bit of a queue. Not sure how long it's going to be, but it's a new ride for us, so we'll do it. But it's decent in here, actually. There's lots of cars, though. So how's this way? Oh, you have to actually walk across the track to go and get the other ones. Plenty of cars, though. Three tracks on this one. Let's go. Here we go! And you know what the best thing about this is? Come on, put your foot down. I am. Hey, that's it, we're off. You've got your own little radio station down here, look. There you go. I don't know if you can change it or not. Oh, there we go. you got a little horn here as well. Uh, it's beeping at everyone over there, waiting for Hero. Enjoy the pain! Oh, a little bit of a jolt there. So yeah, manufactured by Preston and Barbary, worldwide, from Italy they are. There you go. You enjoying it? A bit too slow. Where are we going today? We're going to Asda. Are we going to Asda? Yeah, let's go to Asda. We're going to do the shopping. I like how you got this on here though. I've turned the music off though now. I don't know how you put it back on, it was just for the first bit. Yeah, let's have another honk of the horn. Whee! Kids would love this though. It reminds me of the one in Ferrari Land quite a lot actually. It goes a bit faster I think there than that one in Ferrari Land. It's actually quite a long circuit here on the Flamingo Land F1 cars. It goes round, you know, quite a bit and we're going up now. Going quite oh, slow no, though. I tried to think how slow it's going to go here. You can see where it's uh, been struggling here as well. Look at the tie marks there. Oh my god. Look at that on the left hand side. Woo. Come on, up we go. Put, put your foot down then. Yeah. Feels yeah. <laughs> like it's going faster uphill than it was on the flat. I'm not too sure if it is or not. Maybe it's got a bit more momentum to get it up there. Quite a big hill to go up actually. It's not a bad new addition this actually. It'd be nice if the music stayed on all the way around. I don't know if I broke it from pressing the buttons. I don't know if that's picking up on the camera, but there is some uh, visuals there on the screen, so not too sure. But yeah, not a bad addition, that one. Be nice if there's better music around it, maybe a bit more theming. But then you think, actually, it's supposed to be a racetrack, and a racetrack doesn't really have much around it, does it, other than, uh, other than the grass and things. So I suppose it looks just like it, they wanted it to, really. But uh, there you go. Right, we're just going to do some more rides here at Flamingo Land. First hour of the day, and we're doing quite well for rides so far. We're doing well. 
And finally, in first place, it's Charlotte! Yeah! What have you got to say to all your fans and supporters out there in F1? I just want to thank you all so much. Without you, I wouldn't be here today. And thank there you, you go. That's a very thank nice you. cup you've got there. So here we go to sort of capture this. Don't think I've mentioned it before. Welcome to Dog Watch. There you go. Dogs are allowed inside Flamingo Land. It's like being back at Europa Park, just without Woden and Blue Fire and Silver Star. Right, we're going on Cliffhanger. It said that this was going to be closed today, but it's open, which is good. And um, see so yeah, we'll go on it. This is actually the best one of these in the country, in my opinion, mainly because you obviously launch up and then you launch back down as well. I've got a funny memory from this. Go on. So, when we came, I can't remember oh. when it was. So, me, Kate, and Sean sat together and Sean looked like a zombie on the photo. A zombie. It was so funny. There you go, yeah, and you get your photo on here as well. Cliffhanger, you get a fantastic view. It's Caravan Watch again, this one or dog watch we can have now as well. I just don't know if I've ever mentioned that before in the vlog premiere. It's just quite a, a funny thing, isn't it, that they allow dogs in a theme park? Yeah, it happens to quite a lot of parks abroad and things, but in the UK, it's one of those. Can you imagine just turning up at Alton Towers at the turnstiles? Your dog's just there watching uh, Wicker Man go round, barking every time the fire goes off. Can you imagine it? <laughs> anyway, we're going on cliffhanger. Like I say, it's a good one, miss. And uh, you get a great view from the top, especially uh, a bit of air time as well when you launch back down. Let's go. Thank you, bro. <laughs> It does not sound healthy, that, does it? Off we go on cliffhanger. Unfortunately, I was just raving about it in the queue. Unfortunately, the uh, engineers decide on the morning what setting to put it on, and they put it on the short setting today because they thought the park was going to be busy. So, understandable, I assume. Shame about that, though. It means we're only going to get the one launch, but we're still going to get some air time. Here we go. Nice view, and whee! It does push you up into your seat, this one. It's a lot better than Ice Blast. Look at the view of the park, beautiful. Kamali, Mumbo Jumbo, Lost River Ride over in the distance, and there we go. It's a good forceful shot tower there, that. I do enjoy it. Cliffhanger at Flamingo Land. Short five minute wait for that one. Didn't sound healthy though, did it? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what we like to see. Kamali over there is testing. That's the first train we've seen them send round today, so hopefully we'll get on that after we've had our packed lunch. Saving the money today, aren't we? Having a packed lunch. We've both got one today. Here we are, look, we've got cakes, crisps, all sorts. A wagon wheel for Charlotte. But she doesn't like wagon wheels. Why don't you like wagon wheels? Explain to the viewers. I don't like jam. You don't like jam? You want oh, the crazy. Not allowed that, it's not allowed. Yeah, we're just sitting here, and I must say, this looks a bit drab when it's not summer. I mean, this is normally like a water play area, and I know it's not really the weather for it yet, hence why it's all turned off. But hopefully they'll uh, paint this up and things before the summer, because it looks rubbish, all the floor here. I don't know what's been delivered over there, but there's some uh, some boxes of things, so I'm not too sure what it is. But uh, there you go, good to see Kamali going round. Hopefully we'll get on that today. The splash battle, I mean, look at the volcano there. I remember when this first opened, it used to look great, and... Uh, yeah, it looks a bit drab, that does now, so hopefully they'll sort this all out before the summer. I mean, I think the splash battle's supposed to be open today, because technically that's a, well, it's a ride, isn't it, in the park? People have paid for that. But, uh, yeah, this was around here. It all looks a bit, just the finish of it, just needs a bit of work doing to it. Um, but, yeah, the rest of the park looks good. I liked the F1 cars. It'd be nice if they were a bit faster. Boy, you munch on that sandwich. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, just this area around here just looks a bit drab. Also, I was talking about the uh, flip-flop just over there. So you can't really tell now because it stopped. Uh, but they've actually, Fabri, who manufactured it, have uh, changed the seating design on that now. So normally it was a complete circle with all the seats all the way around. Now it's all in different sections. I think there's uh, three seats in a row on each section. I have three or four seats. I'm not, is it three or four? Three. Three, three in, in each section. But, uh, oh, she's loving that sandwich. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'll go on that afterwards. I'll take you along for the ride with the chest mounted GoPro. It's good how they allow them here as well. As long as it's chest mounted and secure, you're allowed to film on the ride here from Ingo Land, uh, which is great. So, yeah, I'll finish up the food and uh, get on there for a ride. So, as you can tell, Kamali 
has now opened and I have sent Sean on ride because I'm not a huge fan and I've just had my lunch and I do not want to bring it up again. So there's the station. I'm going to get a few off-ride shots of Sean on Kamali now. Off we go then on Kamali. Charlotte's waiting off on this one. She's down there somewhere. Whee! Give her a wave. So here we go then, climb up the lift hill, 117 foot tall lift hill this one. Opened in 2006 here at Flamingo Land, it's a Vacoma suspended looping coaster. Not the standard layout though this one, a nice custom layout, four inversions, it's a really good coaster this, I quite enjoy it. So here they are, they're going to be coming off the lift hill, just in a second. Really good views across the park. You can see all the zoo down there as well. Lost River Ride, that's running around empty at the moment. Maybe nobody wants to go on it. It is a bit cold though today, especially when we go down this drop in a second. Here we go. Fantastic views. Prepare for Kamali, let's go. Woo! Woo! Oh yeah. Woo! It's the loop. Woo! Whoa. Woo! They're loving it behind, aren't they? Screaming. Hey. That's an upward helix there. Whoa. And there we go, round right into the brakes. It's Kamali from England. It's a good case of that. Always runs on one train now. When it opened, used to run two trains, but they only run it on one now. But they've still got the other, and I believe the uh, swap them round every year. So one year it runs this train, and then the other year uh, it runs the other one. You just see the other train down there, look, or at least the seats for it anyway. And there you go. I do like the uh, supports with all the paintwork on there as well. Good ride that was. Not too rough either. And Sean is happy to know that the back of Kamali, the rock work, has been fixed. Yippee! Kamali, loved uh, Charlotte's off-ride shots there as well. I like how she mentioned uh, about the back of the rocks there being fixed. It looks awful that did last year, so I'm glad that they've uh, sorted that out. Because it's a well-themed ride that. And like I said, just on the brake run, the fact they painted all the supports and things on it, it's a good ride, and I've always enjoyed it since it first opened that one. It's not a smooth coaster by all means, but it's certainly a lot smoother. Uh, than the other SLCs out there. It's just a lot more enjoyable. At the end of the day with these rides, you don't want all of them to be silk smooth, because uh, then they're not as enjoyable, are they? You know, you want a bit of a rough ride sometimes. So, yeah, there you go. Here's a look at those seats. It was right earlier. Yeah, it is uh, three seats in each section now on Flip Flop. I will go on there later on. Hey, theme Ball All Wide on YouTube. Check it out. There's a few queues forming around the park now, but we thought we'd come for a ride on the train. Charlotte's not done this before. Didn't realise that. There's a few things you've not done at this park before. She's not done the cable cars either, so we'll uh, do them later on as well. Considering it's only just gone 12 o'clock, we've done a lot so far this morning. Really doing well for attractions here at Flamingo Land. Get our money's worth. It was £35 to book a ticket online. It's £40 on the door. Personally, I think 40 quid maybe is a little bit too expensive. But you've got to remember there is a full zoo here as well and a few different shows and things about. So you've got to think really, yeah, maybe 40 quid is a bit pricey. But if you book online, £35, uh, it's not too bad at all. And in terms of this train ride, there's a few different stops around. Uh, so it's a good way of getting around the park. Just make 
music out there in the distance, people embarking on the Lost River ride. Are we going on there later on? I'll give it a go. Here's some of the giraffes here as well. It still seems strange seeing giraffes and then seeing roller coasters behind it. Nice big area for them here, there. They've got this whole area all the way back down there, as far as the eye can see. It's nice, I like it. And this is the giraffe house just here. You actually got them steps just there on the right hand side. Don't know if I've ever been up there actually when I filmed the vlog before, but we'll come and have a walk around the zoo. It's a nice zoo, this one. Like I say, I'm not normally a big fan of zoos, but uh, yeah, this is quite a nice one, this. Yeah, you can walk up these steps just here and get some really good views, especially when they come uh, quite close up to the top. There's the Lost River ride over there, people going up the lift hill. It's a funny lift mechanism on that. It like gets uh, pu pushed up the lift hill with like a, a mechanism and then it comes back down. It's not like a, a chain lift. It's really weird how it works. It used to be sponsored by Walls, that one, but I don't think it is anymore. They've still got all the walls branded on the side. Whee. Quite a nice little walk around here, actually. Quite a quiet part of the park. It's all right, Lost River, right? It's a one-drop special, as you'll see later on from the footage. But it's not bad. It used to have a lot more effects and things on it back in the good old days when it first opened. 2004, the Lost River ride opened at Flamingo Line. I remember coming opening year for that one with my parents. Hello, Anna, did you enjoy your ride? Yeah, it was great, that was. Thank um, you. That's just five pounds then, please. F five pounds? What? Yeah. I I'm not paying five pounds. Let me out. Oh. Five pounds, please. Five what? Five pounds, please. I haven't got five pounds. Well, you'll have to pay five pounds. See you later. Five pounds, please, sir. The what? Five pounds, Store. The White Store. Okay. That's where we're starting off our zoo adventure. The White Store. There you go. There's a little did you know. I'm not going to read it all out, but you can see it just on there. Look at Whoa. Whoa. the White Store. Like Charlotte made a good point just off camera. <laughs> like they've put this fence around it, but it's got wings. Surely it can just fly out. There you are. That's what it's going to do. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Don't think it's going to fly out like that, do you? It's going to have a look round. So we're here at the giraffe house now, where it looks like they're just about to be fed. Inside the building just to the left of us, just here. We've caught them steps that I showed you from on board the train. Oh, there he is, poking his head round. Hello. Oh, he's gone again. Since I zoomed in, he went then. And I bet I'll zoom out and then he'll come back out again. But so uh, yeah, you get a good view here as well, all across the park. Massive area, and obviously the giraffes and, and zebras, they go out on this massive uh, piece of grass line just here as well. And uh, sometimes you get a really good view of them, especially when you're over there on the Lost River ride. Some ostrich down there as well, let's have a zoom in on him. There he is, Billy the ostrich. Billy no mates there. Nice animals, aren't they? Zebra and giraffes, and uh, just here we've got some camels as well. Not riding these ones like me and Harry did out in Dubai. Make sure you check out the vlog if you've not seen it. Oh, hello! It's quite a lot to see here at Flamingo Line. Like I say, you've got a lot of rides, and the zoo's quite nice here as well. It goes quite far back. And you've got like a little monorail ride. You can just see the track for it up there as well. Uh, it only runs round in like a loop, um, but it's well worth going on that. You get some really nice views across the zoo area. You got the tigers, which are in this big exhibit just here as well. What are you doing? Are uh, you walking across the train track? Oh. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's nice. It's having a nice day so far. Are you enjoying it? Yes. You like seeing the but giraffe, don't worry, don't you? guys. The goats are coming. The goats are coming up. Yeah, I didn't even know they had goats Neither here. Did I. Well, they got They're goats go at Flamingo Land. I think they got flamingos. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, we know they got flamingos. But yeah, I just like all this. I mean, you look at Tiger Rock, for example, uh, which is the re theme of Dragon Falls at Chessington World of Adventures. And it's opening next month, but you look at the enclosure and it's all like bars and things. Whereas with this, you've got this nice rock work uh, with the viewing windows in. I just think it looks a lot nicer. This is kind of what I thought we were going to get with Tiger Rock, a bit more themed uh, exhibits, a bit like this really, but uh, there you are. It's nice quality. How good's the quality rock work? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for that rock work. It's nice. And I wouldn't give it a 10 personally, but I've seen a lot more rock work than Charlotte has. I'd probably give it a good 7. I say that, you've seen the home of rock work, haven't you, which is Kluckheim yeah. at Fantasyland. That's the home of rock work. Can we see anything through here? Do, 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 do. I don't know why that got that in my head. Can you imagine if a tiger's kept the glass and was like, ooh. That's right. <laughs> I can't see anything in that long. I saw him earlier when I was on the train, though. Yeah, it's over that side. Here we are then on the zoo monorail. And what have we come to see from up here, Charlotte? The red button baboons. The red button baboons, apparently. Oh, yeah. There they are, look, all in the middle. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Like I say, it's quite a short layout this one, just goes around in a circle, but it's an old ride here, I mean, I remember doing this as a kid, it's probably here a lot longer than the, than that. Fascinating fact for you with this one, my mum actually used to work at Flamingo Land, she used to be a ride operator when she was 12 years old, that just shows how things have changed over the years. She used to operate a stop-start carousel, because this was her local park. There you go, today's fascinating fact for you. Yeah, yeah. There they all are. It's quite funny because everyone's all standing down here looking at them. There's about 20 people just underneath us here, but if you come on here, which had a walk on queue, you get even closer and get a better view. It's been painted up this has as well. It's all orange and that now. It looks quite nice actually. It's all been painted. Looks loads better. Some parts of the park look really fresh, where there's other bits. It's mainly all a bit by flip-flop, to be honest. It's all round there. It just needs updating, but I suppose they'll probably do that before the summer period. Every time I come, it normally looks all right, but uh, yeah, I assume it's just because we're coming like off-season, technically, even though it's Easter. You know what I mean, in terms of it not being the hot weather yet, uh, for that kind of outdoor play equipment. Whoa, look at that one sitting on the rocks there. That's Emperor. Just had a good ride then on the zoo monorail. You get some good views from up there. Quite a short ride, but I do like how you got a couple of monorails here. You got the train, you got the cable car. There's lots of different choice in terms of transport rides, and I like that with the park. Kind of reminds me of Europa in that way. And uh, so yeah, this is new. This is like a Peter Rabbit play area down here. And uh, yeah, like look at that peacock just sat up there as well. Charlotte thought it was plastic. It's an animatronic. It's not an animatronic. It's real. Look at it. It's climbed up the steps. How's it going to get back down there? Look, it's got a barrier. <laughs> See him just sat up there, let's have a zoom in for you. There you go. Sitting up there, chilling out. So yeah, this is it. Pe oh, hello. <laughs> hello viewers, that's what he's saying. I promise that wasn't a sound effect, that was genuine. But uh, here you go, God, this is a massive new play area, all themed around Peter Rabbit. Oh, this is quite nice, because this was just a grass area before, and that play area, what they've painted up over there, like the heritage play area, as I call it, that's really old, that's been here for years. Looks quite nice, doesn't it? A couple of slide creds as well. It's got a lot of charm, this area of the park, especially with the mansion house, this massive building here, which is like a restaurant inside. Looks really posh in there with all chandeliers and people having their uh, cream tea, it seems like. It's quite nice, isn't it? <gasps> Peter Rabbit Adventure. Yeah, there's the. Uh, Whereabouts? Oh, there you go. Oh, meet and greet. Let's go meet him. Wow! Here we go then. Welcome to Goat Cam. This is something on Theme Park Worldwide that you've started. Quite this a is. Regular occurrence. Quite a few people have commented saying it's turning into like Goat Park Worldwide. Goat Park. But uh, here we go. We've got some. You can't go in with these ones, unfortunately, but they can get through that gap just there. Uh, and into the tractor ride area, which is interesting. Peter Rabbit, oh yeah, the real rabbit back there. See him? Yeah, it's got a lot of charm to it, this area, because you've got an actual church there as well, which this is back straight onto a, a village just here. Right, I've got 
A fascinating fact. Well, fascinating fact, fact about the fact. African These pygmy goats. Go on. African pygmy goats. How do you know that? Because pygmy goats are small. These are big. But it does say on the sign. I know, but it's false advertisement. Do you think so? Because yeah. <laughs> pygmy goats are like the same size as the ones at Drayton Manor. These are massive. Yeah, they are big goats, they are, aren't they? They're, They're huge. big goats. I just like how we can just see a couple of horns coming out from behind this rock just here. <laughs> But uh, there you go, where are we going in with them today? Not the best goat part worldwide today, is it? This is a disappointing <laughs> 4 out of 10. Oh no, luckily it's got plenty of other things to make up for it here though, at Flamingo Land. And we got another peacock sat there as well on the wall. Love the peacocks here, don't they? Here we are then on Muddy Duck Farm. What's going on down there? We've got a, oh. a pig down there, haven't we? Right, we've done well, because there's a goat over there! Yeah, that's the only reason we've come on. Oh, there you go. Is the one just here? Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, I didn't here. see that one. There he is. Hello. That's a pygmy goat because it's small. There's another one. Yeah. This is the goat ride. Obviously, they can come out into this all, all this area around here. They've got quite a lot of space, haven't they, really? That's Shame they're not all like out here on the grass. That's what I like to say. Here we go then, so after a nice walk around Muddy Duck Farm and the zoo, we're on the cable car. A little tip for you with this one, obviously it's an old cable car, little fact for you, this actually used to operate at Alton Towers before the Sky Ride, and then it got relocated here to Flamingo Land, so it's old. Oh, where's the sea lions down there? You are right, Charlotte? No. <laughs> You've never been on this before? No. It's a classic. It's like the one that Drayton Manor had. Unfortunately, that's now closed. Uh, they ripped that out over winter, which is a shame, really, because I enjoyed it. But the, the views weren't quite as good as what you can get on this one. Uh, but a little tip for you, with it being old, it doesn't run uh, many of the cable cars at all. Uh, so there's a station just down this end, next to Mumbo Jumbo and Kamali, and one in the zoo. The one down at that end, uh, by the rides, that normally gets about a 20 minutes, a half an hour queue, even on a quiet day. If you have a short stroll up into the zoo, even if you don't walk around the rest of it, just come to this other station and get the cable car back. We've waited literally five minutes there, because uh, there can't be more than maybe five on here, probably four or five all the way across with how old it is. And so you've certainly got to make the most of it while these rides are here. And if you do want to do it, jump on the, the, uh, the other end. It'll save you some time when you come to the park. But yeah, you used to operate at Alton Towers, this one. We have a little walk around towards the entrance, see what time the uh, Pirates of Zanzibar show is on. I think it's on now, actually, is it? Yeah. Looks like it is. We'll see what time the next show's on. And uh, do a few more rides. I mean, which credits do you need to get around here? That little spinning coaster, did you say you need to do? Yes. You haven't been on that before. Maybe do, uh, well, we'll do Pterodactyl, which is the uh, Starflyer attraction there. Maybe try and do a couple of these other rides down here as well. And, of course, I'll go on uh, Flip Flop. Some lovely views there from up here. It looks great. Really nice. Oh, the Splash Battle's running now as well. So that means every ride's operating today. It's good. So it's time for our exercise for the day. If walking around the park wasn't enough, we're on the cycle monorail. Or as I call it, a roller coaster tycoon classic. What are you doing, Charlotte? I'm tired. Come on, pedal, pedal. <laughs> little fun fact for you, that little uh, mine train coaster there. That was actually from the American Adventure. And if you've not seen it already, check out our brand new documentary here on Theme Park Worldwide, all about the history of the American Adventure theme park. Located in Derbyshire, not far from where we are, and uh, check it out, I had lots of childhood memories there when I was a kid. <laughs> the pirate show is on again at three o'clock, so we're gonna come back later and watch it. Come on, faster. Let's see how fast we can go around this corner. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Battle. We're coming off and break. Ah. East stop. Yeah. Woo. Here we go. On the runaway mine train. Had a good ride then, just on the cycle monorail. And off we go. New credit for Charlotte, this one. It's a Zamperla classic. Let's go. Oh, my legs. Oh. Two laps special as well. A bit rough. There we go. It might be a two lap special, but it's still gonna stop every time. Oh, it, and we just wait. Off we go again. Oh, there we go. Back onto the chain, <laughs> and off we go again. We. The operator is a big fan of the channel. 
It's a high out there to the operator on this one. It opened here in 2007 after it left the American Adventure theme park. Oh, God. It's a bit painful, it's a bit jolty. And there you go. There they are. That's a great start. Whee! It was a wave. Theme park worldwide. Love it. Welcome to Dino Stone Park. Na, 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 na. Do you mind? Got, you ruined my moment then. It's got no eyelids. It's got no eyelids. Quality animatronics. It's got no eyelids. Na, 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 na. <laughs> right, we're going on pterodactyl. There's a dog in the queue. There's a dog in the queue. Dogs cannot ride. Thank you. It's blocking it. It's blocking the queue line. I guess there's a dog in the way of the queue. Just uh, poke around the back just there. There we are. Dogs cannot ride. Thank you. Right, let's go. You get some good views on this one. It gets swinging quite quick. It still amazes me the mechanics behind this though. Because normally the like, motor's attached to the side of the tower uh, and then it goes up and spins on that. Whereas with this version, uh, done by Zamperla, the actual whole tower spins round. It's quite interesting really. I don't think they get away with it being any taller. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure, especially on that bottom part of the tower. So uh, yeah, feel your confidence with that one. <laughs> Let's get on board. Hashtag Rockwork. Off we go then on Pterodactyl. Soon gets going this one. You probably won't hear what I'm saying at the top, so I won't say much because it gets quite windy. 26 miles an hour to be exact. We've just seen the screen in the up cabin. Here we go. There we go. Try and spot the car. Whee! You all right, Charlotte? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. About halfway down now. Then you go back up. Let me give you some more. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have none of that, please. Ah. <laughs> Whee! It's a good view. There we go, you get a good spin on that as well. I can't wait to take you over to Florida to do the 400 foot tall one. Yeah. <laughs> I'll definitely be doing that later in the year. I'm September I'm going with Alex. So stay tuned on the channel. There you go. Dino Stone Park, Pterodactyl. It's good that was. Ooh. Please remain seated until the rides come to a complete stop. Thank you. Right then, we're going on Twistosaurus. Charlotte's first time on this one, little spinning coaster. Whee! But, Charlotte, you're not old. I know. Like this person was. Look at this, the oldest person to ride this roller coaster was Jack Reynolds. Uh, he was born in the UK in 1912. He rode Twistosaurus aged 105. Look at that, crazy. On the 6th of April 2017, that's the Guinness World Record for the uh, wow. oldest person to ride a roller coaster. So, sorry, you can't go on. You're not well, old I'm enough. going to be 106. <laughs> there you go. That'll be us, that will, coming down around these roller coasters. But uh, there you go. I enjoyed our ride just on Pterodactyl. Met some really nice fans here today as well. Most of them have been staffed, to be honest. So it's been really nice to see you all. Keep up the hard work here at Flamingo Land. Always good to see fans of the channel. Make sure you say hello if you do see us at the park. Right, well, let's go for a spin. Gets going quite good, this one. Here we go. Whee! Another one that watches the videos, they love it. They love it up north. Off we go, Twistosaurus. Four of us in this one, so we might get a bit of spinning action. You never know. I have had a wild ride on this before, but we've also had a boring ride on it. So let's find out what we're going to get. Up the lift till we go, that's it. 
Oh. Whee! Lateral G-force! Today I'm having a good spin in the green one and what are we getting? Nothing! Whoa. Oh we got a little spin! Wonderful! Whee. Don't worry if you don't get any spin on the first one you've got a second chance, two lap special! There we go! They're having a right good time there. Look at them guys. Look at this. They've got it, they have. <laughs> and a good spin. Hey guys. Hey, you're on YouTube. Feedback worldwide. Check it out. <laughs> oh. Charlotte's got a shades on. Hey. Oh. Woo. <laughs> they love it. Oh, backwards drop. Woo. And there we go. That's Twistosaurus. Not much spinning action there, was they? No. There we go. Woo. <laughs> love it. We're going from ride to ride today. We've done loads today here at Flamingo Land. But next up, we're going on the most inventive name for a roller coaster ever. What are we going on, Charlotte? Zoom! Skip, what, the, what the hell was that? What, what's it called? Zoom! Yeah, just zoom. You ain't to say zoom. zoom. Just zoom, it is. Zoom. So we're going on zoom. Here we go. We're going on this runway and we're going to take off to a mystery destination. Somewhere I'm going this week, a mystery. Let's go. Two lap special. Off we go then on Zoom. I can't believe Charlotte's had three new credits today at Flamingo Land. Crazy that. Junior coasters, but still. There we are, nice view over there to Velocity. Look at the queue, empty, it's walk on. It's a really good day to come here today. We always come in the summer and it's quite busy, so quite pleased to come today. A bit tired there, Charlotte, having a little yawn. Is it that boring Zoom for you? Zoom. 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 Two lap special, let's go. Whee! It's a bit tight on here as well, isn't it, to get in? I Look at this. <laughs> yeah, Charlotte's not even got a seatbelt fastened. The operator said it was all right, though. As long as the kids are fastened in. I've got a lap bar. Fair enough. But yeah, the lap bar's holding you in. Woo! Hey, he's down there now. He's moved rides. Woo! <laughs> Flip flop coming up next. Makes me laugh, this. You have a little pause now. And they have to dispatch it again for a second time. Is it on the runway, Sean? Is what? On the runway. On the runway. Quality theme in there. See, look, has to fully stop. Wait for that light to flash. Then we'll dispatch again. Here we go. Ooh. Yeah. I could not be the operator on this ride, though. Listen to flying machines all day. It's on like a one minute loop, that song. It's like a really old song where it goes. Da -da 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 and a little dance. Don't forget to check out our vlog tomorrow. We're off the Lightwater Valley, we'll be riding on the Ultimate. It's a classic, it's one of my favourites out there. It was finished by British Rail, fascinating fact for you. Let's go. Oh. Whee. This is a great coaster for little kids though, to get them into it. Because there's no sharp corners, no drops. Just a good coaster. Just to get them used to it for the kids, you know. It's good. It's a bit more exciting than like Octonauts or something at Alton Towers. Still Zampirla though. Whee! <laughs> it must be on uh, brake cover. There you go. Right, I'm going on flip flop, then we're going to watch the pirate show. Zanzibar. Are you alright? Swallowed him. <laughs> oh dear, Charlotte's choking. So I didn't get my ride on flip-flop because it broke down just as we came off Zoom, as we call it. Charlotte calls it, she can't speak now because she's got a mouth full of chips. Look at this. Got large chips, three pounds. They're not just for me. 
Yeah, they're not. Why are they with you? going to share them with me? Yeah, you've already been uh, stopped. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what you're on about. Anyway, it's just gone three o'clock, so we're going to watch the Pirates of Zanzibar. Love this when they put it in a couple of years ago. Wasn't a big fan of it uh, last year, mainly because there was a few cutbacks compared to the previous year. Uh, but I'll show you a few of the highlights from the stage show. It's located right here at the entrance of the park. The turnstiles are obviously just over there. And uh, the stage is here, it's just about to start. So here's some highlights. See a couple of minutes of highlights there from the Pirates of Zanzibar. Good to see they've changed the show again. And I must say, as much as it wasn't as good as the first show I saw here, well, it'll be three years ago now uh, on that stage, I'd say it was better uh, than the last one. The basic storyline with that, it was like a pirate wedding. There was like an admiral uh, who came on, like a posh admiral, uh, and then they didn't get on with him, basically. And uh, yeah, that was the storyline, basically, wasn't it? You wasn't a big fan of that, though, was you? <laughs> Charlotte doesn't really appreciate entertainment, though. you got to think, though, there was, what, a cast of 16 people in that show. Yeah, it's a lot. That was them acrobat. Yeah, they're good, aren't they, the guys really doing good. that? Yeah. I mean, they've been in it for, what, three years now? Yeah. But you liked the first one, didn't you? Yeah, the first one was really good, and then the second one was... I think it was the illusions, and though. They did, like, a couple one, of illusions in the first no, one. There was no, like, when, when we first saw it, there were some acrobats in the sky. There was, there was, there was, no, that was certainly good. better. I quite like the storyline for that one, though. But yes, you just got to appreciate the fact that, you know, you've got some theme park entertainment here. A lot of these parks don't have any stage shows at all. I mean, look at Alton Towers. Yes, they've got something in CBeebies line, but here it's Oom. <laughs> here you've got that big stage show. They do, like, meet and greets over there. There's a Peter Rabbit show. There's the Bird show. There's the Sea Lion show. There's a lot of entertainment in for the price here, uh, which is really good. Yeah, I don't quite get that. It said you have to go and get a ticket for Peter Rabbit. Maybe because it's in a small venue, I'm not too sure. Don't get me wrong, it's not the best theme park show ever, but I appreciate the fact they're trying entertainment. Why did I say that sentence the other week? Alton Towers, they tried something a bit different with their uh, street dance show. To be honest, I wasn't a big fan of it, but at least they were trying something a little bit different, and at least uh, trying to do some entertainment. It'll be a long time until the uh, as good as parks abroad, but at least they're trying to do it. A big cast there of, what, 16, 17 people in that, so crazy. Right, I'm going to do uh, flip-flop now. It's got a bit of a queue, though. Right, God, I might do it a little bit later, actually. I might go and do the Lost River ride instead. Oh, You're not yeah. coming on that, though, are you? No. I mean, I won't do it if there's a massive queue like there normally is, but if it's quiet, I'll go on. Yeah, I'll do that later on. It broke down, but it's back in action now, flip-flop. So I'll do that later, don't worry. So yeah, it's going to have a look at the Lost River ride. A couple of rides that Charlotte's not going to do with me now. I've got to ride alone. Not, I had to ride Stormfall's town. <laughs> true, you did. I'll go on this though, because it's, I don't know, I'd just like to see what they've done to it, if anything. Let's go and have a look. Oh yes, this is what I like to see. I remember, didn't we wait from on the bridge once for Lost River Ride at the top? And it took ages, didn't it? It was like over an hour. It doesn't normally run many boats this. I think it could be on two or three boats today, uh, from what we've seen. I mean, it's gone down the drop a few times when we've been past today. Well, I've just timed it well. But uh, yeah, there's hardly any queue at all. In fact, it's right down there, right next to the station. Charlotte's not coming on, but I'll take you along for the ride with the GoPro. 
So I'll see you on the Lost River ride. Let's go. So Sean has gone onto the Lost River ride. I have decided to not go on the Lost River ride as I do not want to get soaked. Quite a long ride this one. As you start off over there somewhere and then you go all the way around past the animals and then you descend down this huge drop and splash. As you can see you get soaked looking at this path. So what I'll do is I'll film Sean coming down the drop and see how wet he is when he gets off. Sean has actually broken down on the Lost River ride and I've seen the queue, people have left the queue and it's been around 10 minutes since the last car has come down. So I'll keep you informed but I feel like Sean is actually stuck on the Lost River ride. While on my way back to go and find Sean, rest assured the white stalks are still here. So it doesn't look like I'm going to be riding on the Lost River ride today. It's running three boats and it was running okay actually. I waited about 15 minutes, moved about two meters. Um, yeah, all seriously, I was just about to get on the next boat and then it's broke down now. So they've had to evac the boat there. And I think one's got stuck somewhere out the back uh, around by the animal enclosures. So yeah, I'm not going to be riding it today unfortunately. But I'm sure we'll definitely come back later in the year. Uh, maybe on a nicer day for it as well in the summer and have a ride on it. But uh, I don't know what Charlotte said. <laughs> she says she's some funny commentary apparently. But uh, yeah, no Lost River ride today. But I'm going to go to Flip Flop, have a go on that and we'll uh, get our last couple of rides in here from Ingoland. For your safety, please remain seated and just come off flip-flop and I'm highly disappointed I think Charlotte could tell the disappointment in I my face going and I was like Sean's not gonna enjoy it <laughs> now I mentioned earlier on well, let's go way back first let's talk about this ride it's manufactured by Fabry and I've always sort of compared it to the Intamin gyro swing maelstrom at Drayton Manor now me and Lee have had this thing going on where we've always said what's better maelstrom or flip-flop I was always on the maelstrom side Lee was always on the flip-flop side I think if Lee saw that it'd be disappointed like I am like I always preferred Maelstrom but that was not great at all I wouldn't wait more than five minutes for that now unfortunately whereas before you get a good what five or six minute ride cycle it used to be crazy it used to get going really fast a lot higher than it does now as well and then it'd slow down for a little bit and then it'd get going again but uh, yeah poor flip-flop it's uh, in a bit of a sorry state that one unfortunately at least the fountains are on underneath but yeah, obviously, if you missed it earlier on in the vlog, they've changed the, the ride, basically. It used to be a complete circle full of seats. Now they're in little groups of three. So it's reduced the throughput and reduced the ride experience, which is a shame with that one. I know. A bit gutted with that, but... I don't oh, well. want it anyway. Yeah, at least I've been on it and had a go. I think you'd be all right on that now, to be honest, Charlotte. It doesn't get going much at all. 
it's, uh, it's a shame what was about a six minute ride, really good cycle, has turned into quite a poor flat ride now. It's a shame, really. Uh, I like to try and look at the positives as much as I can at these theme parks, but uh, yeah, a bit disappointed with that. I assume they're having maybe some issues with the weight on it, maybe too many seats and, uh, and, and all sorts. Who knows? It's getting on though quite a bit now, quite old, isn't it? So I suppose they're having a few issues. Still not as old as uh, Maelstrom, though. It just shows, though, doesn't it? Maelstrom was always the king all the way along. But uh, yeah, coming to us. What the hell was that? The king. The king, oh my god, I wasn't expecting that, were you viewers? <laughs> but uh, yeah, just going to get our last couple of rides in now, about half an hour to go until park close. Five o'clock close today, uh, it's a standard sort of close time really for the UK parks, especially at this time of year. Uh, there's only a few what open a bit later. Uh, but yeah, it's been really good today, I've enjoyed it, good to get back on loads of rides. I feel like I've had my money's worth here today, which is really good, we've got plenty in. Do you feel like you have, Charlotte? Yeah. Got, I know you've not done quite as many rides as me because there's a few bits you've not done, but you, you enjoyed the animals and the giraffes and stuff. And uh, yeah, we've done quite a lot today. It's been really good. So we'll get our last couple of rides in and then uh, sum up our day here at Flamingo Land Resort. I say resort because they've got a whole caravan and camping area, which is actually looks really nice. I've never stopped there, but it looks really nice and they do entertainment and things. And if, obviously if you're stopping there, you get access into the park as well. So it might be worth staying over for a couple of days so you can enjoy it all. On a busy day, I'd definitely say it's a two day park. On a quiet day like today, then yeah, you can do it all in a day. And the big rides you can do in a couple of hours. Um, but if you want to experience it all on a busy day, then definitely look at maybe stopping over here at Flamingo Lands. Mortals to Mischief Mansion, aka the Parks Any Dark Ride. I mean, this is old school, this is. That's why you gotta do these classic dark rides, though. I mean, it's not like this is anything special compared to Bubble Works and things that we've lost over the years, but you still gotta do them. Or Tommy Tinkaboo, for example, at Pleasure Island. But you still gotta do them because you never know how long these rides are gonna last. And this has got a sentimental value to some people out there, I'm sure it has, like Bubble Works did for me. There's the sound system there, look. On ride photo for the win. Addictive soundtrack, this one. Oh, struggled to make it around the corner there. Big jump scare there, look. Whoa! <laughs> What's going on down that toilet? There's Charlotte asleep. <laughs> Who's up there? Finale show scenes now. Here we go, big finale. Whoa. And there we go, Miss Chief Mansion in Flamingo Line. has come out and it's the end of the day here at Flamingo Land. Oh, look at these new LEDs as well, isn't it? Let's <laughs> quickly show you these. I saw these earlier on. They are. Look at them. RGB strip lighting. You get them on eBay, six ninety nine. Then, if you want some, you can get like a little remote control. But uh, there you go. The sun's come out. Charlotte's got her sunglasses on at the end of the day. Finally, it feels like summer is on its way. It's a shame it's happened at the end of today, but at least it's not rained. Hopefully the weather will be all right tomorrow at Lightwater Valley. 
Uh, the forecast isn't looking great for tomorrow. It says it's going to be quite warm, but it might uh, it might rain tomorrow. But uh, you had a nice day. Yes. You enjoyed it. What's been your highlight of today at the Ningo Land Resort? Zoo. The zoo. No. <laughs> oh, zoo. Zoo. The zoo. You yeah, enjoyed the giraffes, didn't you, earlier on? Oh, lovely. Any other parts that you've enjoyed about today? The meerkat on the stage. Oh yeah, that's like the. Uh, the mascot for the park. I was going to say emblem then. The mascot for the park here at Flamingo Land. I enjoy it here. It's great. Uh, we've had a really nice day today. There's been a little bit of downtime on some of the rides. A few bits are broken down and things. Um, but that's to be expected sometimes, especially when uh, a park's getting busy. I mean, it's not been rammed today. I've seen it here a lot busier. In fact, it's been one of the quieter visits I've had. But when rides start having more people going on and things, it gets towards Easter and summer holidays, you can expect a bit more downtime with things. My highlight of the day has been uh, just seeing the park again and getting back on uh, lots of rides. I've enjoyed it. The Pirate Show was okay earlier on. I'm glad we saw the updated version for this year. Uh, enjoyed Rise on Kamali, Velocity. Done all the major rides really today. Uh, Hero earlier on. It wasn't as bad as it's been before, uh, but it still wasn't great, obviously, because it's Hero. Um, but yeah, it's been a good day. I've enjoyed it. A little bit of downtime. Shame we didn't get on the Lost River ride earlier on. Uh, but I'll come back in the summer and uh, and do that at some point. I'm sure Charlotte will probably come back later in the year for a, for another visit to come and see the uh, giraffes. But uh, you're having a giraffe, aren't you? But uh, there you go. That's all for our visit here to Flamingo Land. Thank you very much for watching another vlog here on Theme Park Worldwide. And uh, like I say, get yourselves down into the park to come and check it out. We'll be at Lightwater Valley tomorrow, so make sure you watch the vlog here on Theme Park Worldwide. From the one and only Charlotte, I'm me, Sean Sandbrook. That means it's time to.